Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm going to be Bible journaling using the Receiving the Gift uh, devotional kit from Open Journey. I do have an unboxing of this kit over on my channel, so definitely check that out. I'll have a link down below for you guys. As always, you have a couple of different options with her kits. You have the physical version or the digital version. If you purchase the physical version, you do get a coupon code for 50% off of the digital version. That way you can get some extra printables and things like that. Uh, I have here the physical kit. I wanted to share with you um, this kit, if you didn't watch my unboxing, comes with a set of beautiful beautiful uh cards and these are all different um basic like names of god um gifts from god that are done on these beautiful printed cards they have uh scripture on each one and they are just gorgeous so what i did is i went ahead and hole punched them and i found this frame at tuesday mornings it's a frame by tim holtz i believe that it is being discontinued so if i can find it i will link it down below for you guys so you have some options um i could see very easily creating something like this with a frame and like a you know some kind of wooden base or something like that adding some binder rings and making kind of a DIY version if you wanted to do that and then that way you had the option to use you know whatever size frame that you want because these cards are a little large for this one in particular but it just makes a really nice fun way to display these cards in my home during Christmas and I can just flip it over each day and have a different Bible verse and gift or name of uh, God on there. So that's how I'm using the cards. And these also would work well for Bible journaling prompts. If you're wanting Advent prompts, uh, looking up, you know, each scripture each day and documenting uh, on that, you could definitely do that. But um, today I'm just getting started. So I am in the very front part of the little mini devotional that you have here. And I'm going to be journaling in 2 Corinthians 9 15, um, uh, which, uh, says thanks be to God for his indescribable gift um, and this gift that we have of Christ coming and dying for us so that we might have salvation and an eternity spent with him and so I'm going to be documenting on that I have a few th different things here I do have the stamp set from the prayer kit this is also a, a new kit that's been released over at open journey I will have that link down below for you as well so I pulled the stamp set from that I think I'm going to use the stamp set for my entry today. I have uh, some of the die-cut elements from the Advent set. I think I'm just going to use this little piece here and then I have some of the little fabric pieces. I have one of the clear stickers to build my title. Uh, lots and lots of goodies here so I'm going to set those aside. I did pull out some stamp sets to play with. I loved the look of these big bold letters that are in the kit so i pulled out my tim holtz um upper block foam stamps these are a clean foam so i'm going to be using those and then i also have some floral ones in the same uh foam so i'm going to be using this piece here uh, and really kind of getting messy i love trying out some different mixed media techniques when i play with ingrid's kits and so today is going to be no different i have some neo color two crayons that i'm going to try to stamp with i also have a china marker now this is a like wax pencil kind of that's meant for writing on slick surfaces like porcelain glass things like that um, but it also is just fun in mixed media for creating little scribbly marks and things like that so i think i'm going to try using this today i also have a stencil i have the grime layering stencil from tim holtz lots of tim holtz today uh, that i'm going to blend in with some oxide ink and then I'm going to do some wax seal stamping. This isn't something that I've shared on my channel before. I did get this wax seal stamp from Open Journey. She has these in her shop. It has the Christogram image. And so I'm going to be showing you how um, to do a wax seal in your Bible. Um, and we can always go into more detail if you have questions about that in future Tip Tuesdays and things like that. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we will put this entry together. Okay, so I'm going to start with the grime stencil, and I'm just going to use a makeup brush to blend some antique linen Distress Oxide ink through the stencil. This stencil is a great option for those of you who want that like splattery look on your pages, but you're afraid of splatters, afraid of the mess. This would be perfect for giving you that controlled look. 
So I'm just kind of moving around, adding different intensities, and this is just to build up some layers on the base of the page. Now I'm gonna apologize if you can hear my dryer in the background, it's mom life. I've got about 50 loads of laundry to do, so <laughs> we're just gonna ignore that. So now I'm just working from the back to the front. So next up is gonna be uh, some stamping with these leaf stamps. So I've kind of positioned my die cuts and stuff where I want them. Um, so I have an idea where I wanna do my stamping. And then I just took a little porcelain dish and I'm just scribbling out a few different colors of Neocolor 2 crayons and some greens and blue greens and activate it with water. And that creates a little puddle of paint basically. And then I can uh, like stick this stamp down into that. The only bad thing about these foam adhesive stamps is the foam adhesive part of them or the cling part of them is not super strong. So they can be a little bit finicky to use, but they are a much more inexpensive stamp and they are great for using with mixed media like acrylic paints and these Neocolor 2 crayons like this. Um, they're perfect for that because uh, they kind of soak up the paint and inks and things a little bit and so they just work better with a variety of different mediums like this. So I'm going through and just stamping a variety of these and you can see it kind of gives you this watercolor effect. I was trying to mimic some of the graphics that are in the kit there. And I'm doing like first, second, third generation stamping. So I'm inking it up, stamping it down, and it's continuing to stamp it several times. Um, that way I get different intensities of color. And again, this is all just going in the background. So it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just building up layers. Went ahead and grabbed a big fluffy paintbrush and mopped up some of that remaining paint and I'm gonna splatter that on the page as well. And then here's where I decide to go ahead and play with one of these China markers. Now you could use just, you know, a semi dull pencil or something like that. The nice thing about the China marker is that if you had acrylic paint or something like that gesso, something like that on the page, this is gonna write over it very well because it's meant to write over slippery, slick surfaces. So I'm just creating little scribbly marks. Um, I wrote out the word Jesus and then realized a big chunk of it's gonna be covered by this fabric piece, but that's okay. I'll show you here in a minute how I, uh, deal with that. So just kind of playing around, seeing where I want some messiness. Like I said, Ingrid's kits always make me just explore and play with a variety of different products and get messy and just have a lot of fun creating um, just different types of backgrounds than I normally do. So you can see here I'm taking that china marker and just continuing my J right over the top of that fabric piece. That way you can actually see what it was that I wrote out and that wrote over that fabric no problem at all. So I need to pull these out and play with them a little bit more. Pulled out one of the little stitching stamps from that prayer stamp set. I am using some archival ink here just because I'm stamping over fabric and you know paint and things like that. Later on I use the archival ink for my alphabet stamping and I should have switched. Archival ink 100% bleeds through your Bible pages. So just heads up on that. If that bothers you, just put some gesso down first and that'll uh, help you with the bleed through, which I'll show you at the end here. I took a little piece of twine, jute twine, and kind of piled it up on top there. And then now I'm gonna do my wax seal stamping. So this particular wax has like a wick in it that you light and let the wax kind of drip into a puddle. There's a variety of different ways to do the waxes. There's some that go in like a spoon and melt, um, just a variety of different ways. But this one in particular I found from Walmart and you're just gonna drip it until you get a good size little puddle. Now to be honest, I'd only done two wax seal stamps prior to this. Uh, and so when I started doing this over the twine, I got a little nervous because I hadn't stamped over chunky elements like this before and I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but it did. So I just blow out the wax and immediately stick down my wax seal stamp. And you wanna hold it there for about 10 to 15 seconds while the wax cools and then you can lift it straight up and it worked beautifully exactly how I wanted it to now to enhance the image a little bit I'm just taking a gold marker and kind of brushing it over the raised areas of that stamp so now you can really see the detail of that wax seal I love how that turned out there's gonna be wax seals all over my Bible pages now so just just be prepared <laughs> 
So now I'm going to go ahead and work on my title. So I have the word his that was cut out of the clear stickers. And then now I'm using some little wooden alphas to spell out indescribable. And then I'll use the foam alphabets to stamp out the word gift. And here again is where I used the archival ink and it does end up bleeding through a little bit, but it's okay. I can just cover it. It's not a problem. So now I'm just looking to the stamp set to see if I want to add any other embellishment around my title here. Uh, I am trying to keep in mind that I want some room to do a little bit of prayer journaling, but I want to pull a little bit more red up to the top of the page here because I have the red in the stitching, the red in the wax seal, um, but I feel like I need a third red element uh, just for... Um, I like to work in threes and have colors kind of carrying throughout the page. Um, it's not necessary. It's just a design element that I like to incorporate. So I pulled out some red versus magic ink and then now I'm just using my ruler and that China marker to give myself some journaling lines and wrote out my prayer there. And then now I'm going to take one of the tip ends and instead of using it as a tip in, I'm just using my tab punch to punch out a tab and then I'll layer up a little bit of these washi stickers. These are made out of white sticker paper and it's a little bit thinner of a sticker paper and so you can tear it a lot like washi tape so you get that nice, you know, torn edge that you can get with washi. Just go ahead and add that towards the top there and then underline my verse. And I believe my last finishing touch is gonna be a date stamp to finish it off down at the bottom here. And I will flip this over so that you can see the bleed through. Surprisingly, it wasn't horrible. It was mostly just from the uh, archival ink that bled through, but I can always go back and cover that up. Not a problem. You can see just a little bit there. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out that description box for links to everything that I used today. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Be sure to hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos from me. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.